everyone, this is Abby, your hygienist here at Two Time. You know the drill. So first, give us a like, subscribe, and comment below any content you'd like to see or any questions that you might have. Let's get started with our video. Okay, so first, this patient has been in braces for a little while so if you have any questions or like to see any of the videos that we've shown you on her expose and bond you can click on the link below it'll take you directly to the previous videos that we've done on her so as you can see this patient has an expose and bond an expose and bond is when an impacted tooth is impacted in the bone and we need to kind of expose it to make it come to bring it out and align it with the other teeth. And that's pretty much what happened with this patient. She had an upper impacted canine. We did an exponent and bond, bonded a button to pull down the tooth into place. And so now what we're doing with the pulling down the tooth, we're applying what we call a zingo. A zingo is a rubbery string that kind of attaches to the button of the impacted tooth and then to the wire. And as we're doing that, we're just activating by pulling more force down so the tooth can come into place. This patient has some plaque buildup around her brackets and her butt end of her impacted tooth so you always have to make sure that it is crucial for you to use the hygiene recommended products that you click on the link below and it'll take you straight to our storefront on any of the water pick electric toothbrush tooth bristles floss that we recommend for you to use during your orthodontic treatment So you might be wondering, does this hurt because it looks painful? Now you will probably feel a little bit of discomfort, maybe some soreness as things are being moved around and after the exposing bond. Rest assure you, everything's going to be okay. There are many people that go through this procedure and everything's okay. So, but re And remember, also at the end of the treatment, you will have a beautiful smile. So you, you got to look at the light at the end of the tunnel. And if you feel like you can't handle the discomfort, you can also take some ibuprofen or Tylenol for any of the inflammation that you might feel. If you're curious to know how long you'll probably have an, a tooth that is being impacted to pull down, it is very hard to give you an estimate of time because every person is different. It all depends on everybody's case, or, you know, age, um, how impacted the tooth is, what tooth is impacted, how long it's just being stubborn to bring down. So it's it's a little hard to kind of give a time frame. But remember, remember, just be patient, follow the instructions that they give you and show up to your appointments. All these things can definitely contribute to delaying your treatment and elongate your time in having that tooth not aligned with your other teeth. So remember, if you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment below any questions you might have if you want to see any other things. And again, thank you so much. We're at 190K. Yay! <laughs> so go ahead and like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! If you like braces content and you want to see more, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yeah.